with the gig economy being so volatile, like how much longer do you guys think we can keep this up? Do you think there's an end to the gig economy? <clears throat> Ice in my veins, I've been driving this train. Years in this lane, there's no stop in this flame Cause I came to the game and I changed it to play How I like rearranged it to my own domain Yeah, I got what it takes, made lots of mistakes Taking shots, skipping breaks, feeling lost, feeling great Popping off, singing straight, never stop, never changed All the squad here to play and I've got something to say, yeah Hey guys, welcome back to my channel It is Saturday morning We only have six more orders left So we are gonna bust out this uber eats challenge this morning so let's go make that money honey all right we got our first order um i forgot to screenshot it but it's six dollars going like two point something miles um so you got me with the baseball hat on today no makeup let me just tell you so i bought some new makeup and i wore it yesterday and something happened and it totally had an adverse effect on my eyes so now my eyes i don't know if you can see them are all bloodshot and they feel awful 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 so i'm just like scrubbing it out today what the heck i don't have to look my best when i'm doing gig work you know uh, if anything i want to look my best for you guys but i know you guys love me and accept me no matter how i look all right so we're going to dunkin Donuts to pick it up it's a dunkin Donuts that i don't like but whatever money's money so let's start this day. Darn it, I keep forgetting to screenshot and take pictures. So that was sitting there waiting for me. Um, it's starting to rain now. They sent me an add-on before I even went inside the store, but I forgot to screenshot it. I, honestly, I just wanna get this challenge over that I'm just accepting whatever they give me, pretty much. It didn't look too bad though. I just don't remember what it was, <laughs> to be honest. I'm off to pick up number two, so this will be two orders, so I'll have four more left. <laughs> I wanted to discuss the topic of the video, basically. So, how much longer do you think that this gig economy will be sustainable? Like, when you signed up and decided you were going to be a gig worker, what was it exactly that your plan was? Did you have a plan? Did you say, all right, I'm just gonna do gig work until I can make this much money or I can buy this or like, what was your thoughts going into it? Like for me, I have to do gig work because my daughter has a disability and because of her schedule, I can't find a W-2 job anywhere that'll pay me what I need to make or what I'm qualified for and work around my hours. So, I do gig work as my job, um, but my goal is to buy a house because the house that I'm living in was my dad's house. Um, we pay the mortgage, but it is a piece of crap. It's not my house by choice. It is just a stepping stone while we save to get the house that we want. But with the gig economy being so volatile, like, how much longer do you guys think we can keep this up? Do you think there's an end to the gig economy? Let me know in the comments. I would really love to hear your guys' feedback on it. All right, let me go pick up this food at Frey's Donut House. All right, that was waiting for us, but... So we've got her, I don't know what she got, donuts and coffee. I don't know. It's definitely something I think that we all should think about. Like, a lot of people have a plan, you know? So when they started gig work, they did it for a reason. They are looking to build something better. What is your plan? Or are you like me and you just do it because, you know, you do it because you need to work. My biggest problem is retirement. Um, my husband is a tow truck operator and he's been doing that for a really long time. Um, all right, let's see, leave that door. We're going to a salon 
the Molina and it is three minutes down the road. So we're gonna turn, I, um, I don't know. I don't know, I don't even know what I was saying. I have no clue now. But what is your master plan? Like my, like I said, retirement is my problem because we have no retirement savings and you know, doing gig work, there is no retirement going on. So I don't know, it's, it's a scary thought. So, um, have you guys invested in retirement? Or have a plan for retirement? Like, these are the things that we need to be thinking about. Like, how long we're going to do gig work for, and in the meantime, are we putting money aside towards retirement? I've already lost so much time, and I know a lot of you guys have too, and I would hate to see the younger crowd that's doing this instead of working W-2s not saving or even thinking about saving for retirement. Yeah, that's a long ways away, but it takes a lot to save for it. So you should really start thinking about it now if you haven't already. Um, those old, of us that are old folks <laughs> or older, we're gonna have to put a, aside double or triple what we would have if we started when we were younger. It's just something that we all need to start thinking about, like if you haven't already, like, what is your plan? And what are you going to do if you get hurt or when it's time to retire? Like, do you have something already in place? I would love to hear you guys' ideas and advice that you have in the comments. I love listening to you guys. You guys have so much helpful information. It's not even funny, so. All right, let's drop this food off and keep on going. raining now Ugh. the next order is a lot farther away than I thought it was going to be so 14 minutes and 5.6 miles all right both of those orders are dropped off this is a gated community far south like right in the water but having that been said, I'm gonna probably get more orders in this area, but honestly, I really don't give a crap. I just wanna get this challenge over with. Honestly, I wanna do a different platform today. Like I wanna do a Walmart spark shop and deliver if it wasn't raining out. I wanna do an Instacart order, but do you know what I'm saying? Like I wanna do an Amazon ship. I've been doing Uber Eats for the past two weeks straight. I'm done with Uber Eats. Like I wanna do something else. Well, I got my next two orders, but I'm downtown and there's absolutely no parking. So I've been driving around the block, which doesn't make sense. It's nine o'clock on a Saturday morning. Why is there no parking? Um, so I got the first one for Kahlua coffee and then I got an add on. Darn it. There's no place. I'm just squeezing in right here. It's not a parking spot, but this is where I'm going. Perfect. Um, and then I got an add-on, it was really cheap, but I took it because I only need four more orders left. Off to Gulfport, the next stop is Dunkin' Donuts, nine minutes away. Oh, let's get this challenge done, I really wanna get it done. Okay, well, guess what? I will never come back to this one again. So I'm here waiting at the pickup place and they totally ignore me. Nobody responds to me at all. After five minutes, I'm like, excuse me, um, do you have an Uber Eats order ready? And the girl goes for AJ, and that's who the customer is. I'm like, yep. So she tells somebody that I'm here to pick it up. So I wait. And someone comes over and says, bacon, egg, cheese on a plain bagel and throws it to me like I'm the customer, right? Not in packaging, nothing. And I'm like, um, I don't know if that's the order for the Uber Eats, I guess. And then I'm like, um, there's a frozen coffee with it too? Where's my drink? And he just looks at me, shrugs and walks away. Nobody was making the drink. Everyone was ignoring me. Meanwhile, I got the other order sitting in the car and I mean, I had to have been in there for a good 10 minutes and then I just turned around and I said, you know what? 
I'm leaving. I unassigned the order. I had to. For two dollars and some change, I'm sitting there going through all that hecticness, all that trouble. How freaking rude, dude. Like, I, I can't stand rude employees. Like, you should be freaking thankful that you have a job, that you are getting paid. So why the heck do they have to act like that? Like, I don't understand. I don't understand. Thankfully, the customer is right up the street, but now the iced coffee's watery, you know, and I'm probably gonna get a bad rating. It's not my fault that Uber sent me a $2 something add-on that I should have never taken. Ugh! Okay, that's my rant. Sorry, guys, <laughs> but it just pisses me off. Like, I know you guys can feel what I'm feeling. <laughs> like, UDM says it best. Nobody knows what another driver is going through, except for another driver like yourself. And that is the God honest truth. I totally feel bad for that customer. If I was her, I'd be pissed. I'd probably take away the tip too if I was her. Unfreaking believable. So I thought we would only have two orders left to get, but because of that whole fiasco, we have three more orders left to accomplish. And I really want them to come right now. I want to be done with Uber Eats. <laughs> I got an order for Chick-fil-A, which you know I didn't screenshot. And then they just gave me an add-on too, which is even better. Cause I think it was like $9 for like point something miles. But uh, Chick-fil-A is literally right over there. So I'm gonna head over there and grab this grub. All right, so right when I parked, um, Kayla asked me if I would mind just making sure that they don't forget her Coke, which they didn't. So Kayla's got one large Coke and then Christina's got three drinks and other stuff. So let's start delivery. All right, we're going to Christina first. She is four minutes away, so let's go deliver this grub. <laughs> one trip left. That's all we need, one trip. So, what I'm wondering, once I complete that one trip, if it's busy, should I just keep going? I'm gonna keep going, but I think I'll turn on other apps too, so that if something else comes up, I can just bust that one out. Ah, I can't wait. And it's only like 10 o'clock in the morning, so yeah. Ooh, 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 ooh. I shouldn't be I shouldn't be celebrating so soon. Because for all I know, I could be sitting here and sitting here and sitting here for hours and not get a single order just because they don't want me to finish it. Time to move on because they haven't sent me anything. I swear to god, they're gonna prolong this. <laughs> no way. Like, are you seriously doing this right now, Uber? Like, seriously? You know I have one order left. 129 out of 130, and you really aren't sending me anything? Like, come on, dude. I stopped at Starbucks to get myself a coffee, so. <laughs> As I'm drinking my coffee, I got an order. So we have our last order. It was actually not too bad, but it couldn't be easy now, could it? it? It couldn't be easy just pick up and go like most Starbucks usually are, could it? Nope, I kind of saw like commotion. Like they look like the girl at the counter that was putting it together looked kind of confused. So I'm like, hmm, something's not right. So I went over there. Apparently the customer wanted, I don't know, vanilla sweet cream or something like that. It's a Vanilla sweet cream cold brew. Well, they don't have any more vanilla sweet cream left, so they didn't know what to do. So I text the customer, nothing. I called and left a message with the customer, nothing. So they decided to make it without it. Then she calls back, so she's gonna get it with cream. So she is eight minutes away, and that will be my last order 
for this challenge. So 13 days, not even a full 13th day, but this is day number 13 and we're completing, we're, wow, wow. On day 13, we're completing 130 orders to get my guarantee of 1300. That's kind of strange, don't you think? It actually hasn't like caught up yet and like usually takes a bit, but oh, we did it. Woohoo! 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 Thank you guys so much for cheering me on and watching me through this struggle for good moments and bad moments and the 13 days of itchy double hockey sticks. Yeah! <laughs> Woohoo! I didn't think I'd ever finish. Now, according to my calculations, Uber Eats owes me $325. I'll take it. Now, if I had taken all lowball orders, which is kind of what I probably should have done, they would owe me a hell of a lot more money. But I didn't. So, I am going to turn on other apps. I'm going to take a five minute break. I'm going to, I'll leave Uber on, whatever. It's better to do one extra than have them say something, you know? No, I'm, <laughs> I'm luck. Somebody will say the order wasn't delivered and they'll take it off or something, you know? You never know. I don't trust these apps as far as I can throw them. So I will catch you guys up later on about what the calculations are and maybe let you know if I decide to do something else. But. Right now, I am done! Woohoo! I did end up going back out that night and we drove for 68.7 miles for five hours. We made a total of $112.14 between DoorDash and Uber Eats. And then I got $313.05 from the Uber Eats bonus to make it a technical grand total of $425.19. We made $22.42 an hour, and that is without the bonus. I hope you guys like the video. Stay safe. Peace out.